now and then we all crave the taste of home. And for Brits living in Thailand, there's nothing more nostalgic than a Yorkie's pie. Thailand's coastal city of Pattaya is the home base for Yorkies, which was established by British butchers Norman and Eileen Denning in 1999. Norman died in 2011, but Eileen and her team of 30 staff kept the business going, and today it's a true expat success story. The Yorkies team produces a dozen varieties of pies and pastries, including traditional Cornish pasties and pork pies. Now the best seller by far is Yorkie's famous pork pie. But don't ask Eileen for the recipe. It's been in the family for more than 40 years and is a closely guarded secret. Mm, I like to see why. Mm, really good. So Eileen, 16 years in patio, still loving it? Yes, uh, it's a challenge, a big challenge. Every day is getting busier and um, every day is a big challenge. So those pies, I mean, you told me that when you first started, you, you know, you're only making a certain number of pies and now it sort of measures in the thousands. Absolutely. When we first started, our first delivery consisted of Norman and I taking suitcases by the bus into Bangkok and up onto the SkyTrain and to our uh, customers that way. Now we've got two vans delivering and we're delivering all over Thailand north, south, east, west. So, so tell me about the story when you, uh, you had your order from Bangkok, your, your first order with, um, was it uh, oh, was, uh, with BC? With, with Central. With Central. This was uh, last year. Yes. Uh, we just started a new contract with Central. Uh, and it was a requirement that they had a, a, a minimum order for us to take down to Bangkok to make it viable. Uh, and we said that the minimum order would be 500 pies, which they agreed on. Uh, and the first order came in at 4,800 and some pies, the first order, which uh, took us all aback really. So How much sleep did you get that night? Not a lot, <laughs> <laughs> but we did it. Yorkie's also provides a range of meats. Eileen cures her own bacon, cooks her own hams and creates her own special sausages. And you have a special <laughs> secret recipe too, don't you? Oh yes, they're all secret recipes. Absolutely. They're, they're, they've all been in the family for 40, 45, 50 years. Wow, so no point asking you what goes in the pies. Absolutely none whatsoever. <laughs> or you can tell me it's the freshest ingredients. <laughs> but they are the freshest ingredients, the top quality. I, I don't use any uh, cheap quality, it's all top quality things. I don't um, sacrifice quality for quantity. It's just not worth it. And you know, people expect the best of us and that's what we like to give them. Lam is one of Eileen's oldest friends in Thailand and now works with her to fulfill the daily orders. Is she very hard working? Yeah, yeah she is. Yeah. What would she like to work with? Um, she likes to work with um, the good staff, the good environment and um, I mean, give good service, make the best pine, you know, original from England. Is she tough? Is she a tough um, she's just more or less. You know, she's very nice boss, you know, she's tough um, when it comes to her products and, um, you know, and service. And she's all, also very kind to all yes. staff, yes. But when it comes to her pies and her business, she's a perfectionist, yeah? Yes, yes, she tests her pie all the time. Now, you, your colleague Lam, who's worked with you for a few years, has known you for many years, he said you're a perfectionist when Did it comes he? to your pies. I've paid him well. <laughs> <laughs> you are a perfectionist, yes. I like to try and be, yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I, won't, I won't have anything, I, or should I say, I won't, I won't sell anything that I wouldn't eat myself. You know, if, it, if it's not good enough for, for me, it's not good enough for customers. Um, that's the only way you, you work with business, in my opinion, anyway. And you've, you've got the, the meats as well, because that, that's part of the other part of the business is the sausages, the homemade sausages, right. and they're, they're quite special too. Yeah, again, they've all, all the recipes have been in the family for years. Um, we've got one or two new sausages online that I've put online in these last 12 months or so, uh, new, new uh, ingredients. But uh, the, the basic ones, the pork sausages and the garlic and chives, the combo, and they've been in the family for years. Wow, now when you say in the family, do you, you've got a long background in, in your family for, 
in the um, I guess in the meat in the butcher business. Yes, yes. yeah, we were butchers in in England. I had my own uh, butchery with my first husband, uh, and Norman had his own butchery a uh, couple of couple of miles away, and that's how we met. Um, Norman retired out here, and we bought Norman's old shop. Unfortunately, my husband and I split up, but Norman and I kept in touch. And when we split up, Norman came back, helped me close the shop down. And uh, we sort of got close and he said, you know what, he says, there is a hole out in Thailand. He says, there's nobody doing what we do. At that time, there wasn't anybody. You know, there's the odd, odd company that was making a few pies and there was the German sausages and things like that. But there was nobody doing beef and pork butchery. Uh, which is a combination of your your pies. It's you're working from big from slaughterhouse to bakehouse basically. That's what your beef and pork butchery is, um, and it's worked for us. Yeah, I mean it's it's fantastic. I mean for a lot of people, for a lot of the expats, it must be like having a little taste of home. I'd imagine. Well, that's it. Yes, and that's what we're trying to bring. Yeah, it's great. Regular Australian customer Tony agrees. Tony, you're a regular customer here. What do you love about Yorkies? Being a long-time customer, I've tasted nearly everything they've got in Yorkies, but my favourite has to be their pies. Yeah. Which pies? Usually the meat pies, you know, a bit of sauce on there, wonderful. Now you're Australian, so obviously Australians can really appreciate it with pie, can't they? Of course, we know the difference between a good and a bad pie. <laughs> and they're, they're, you know, as close as you get to being uh, eating a pie at home. The Yorkies products are available 364 days a year at the Soy Chaya Prook headquarters and store in Pattaya, where you'll often bump into Eileen in person. Or you can buy the Yorkies pies at Emporium Bangkok, Big C Extra Pattaya and top supermarkets throughout the country. You know, if you only get back what you put in, you know, and if you don't, if you don't treat your staff right, you don't get respect, you don't get the commitment from them and I've got all of that. So you, you haven't told me your recipe for your pie but what's your recipe for success? Uh, determination, um, hard work, uh, oh crikey, just enjoy it, just enjoy it. You can visit the Yorkies website for more information.